Hello Aries and welcome to my channel Awaken with Nancy. This is going to be your July, mid-July 2020 Soul Connection and Separation Love Reading. So this is for those of you who are experiencing some deep soul connection. You may have been in a relationship with this person or you may just have met them along the way and you have a very strong connection. You cannot get them out of your heart, out of your mind. You just can't seem to let it go. You are in separation and there's likely no communication between the two of you. If this is not your story, then this is not your reading. If you're looking for new love, this is not your reading. This is going to be general and the energies can be reversed, you guys, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if you would like to book a private reading with me, I will pin a comment down below. All you have to do is click on the link to be directed to my website, awakenwithnancy.com. When booking, please indicate in the notes if you want a phone reading, Zoom, which is recordable, or a pre-recorded. If you want a pre-recorded, just know that those readings are not delivered the day of your appointment. I Those have a tendency to get backed up because my live readings take um, priority, okay? So they can be out as much as a week, but right now I'm catching up. So it's more like three or four days, all right? So I appreciate your patience. When booking the pre-recorded, please indicate in the notes your sign, your person's name, their zodiac sign, and just a brief description of what's going on between the two of you. It's much appreciated. It saves me time from following up with you. So greatly appreciate it. All right. Aries, I have pulled some overall energy and it's very interesting. There's a lot going on. We'll see how it relates to the reading. Um, we've got door to value here. So this tells me that there is a door opening up that's going to add a lot of value. It could be monetary value, but there's something, there's some sort of blessing that is available to you. And I like to see this. So there is a door that's going to creak open for you and we've got deep knowing, we've got commitment, and we've got conclusions are within reach. So if you are feeling like you and this person have um, unfinished business between the two of you. This is saying just be committed to the journey and know that conclusions are within reach. There's something that's going to be revealed, okay? Um, we're going through a lot of astrological changes. There are outer planets that are retrograde. We're going through eclipse season. So there's a big energy shift and there's gonna be karmic cycles that are ending, which means there are new beginnings. And anytime I get one of these door cards, it tells me that, yeah, this is a new beginning. This is something coming in for you. So this is really energy of um, being committed to your journey and it doesn't mean that it's going to work out forever with you and your person, but this is just about seeing things through and knowing that the journey is not quite over, okay? We've also got union and integrity. Union says you have seen and unseen allies draw upon their strength, join forces with friends and flourish. And to me, this is about spirit and your angel guides, your ancestors, and potentially friends. They're there to help you on this journey. They're, they're here to share wisdom with you that is, that is going to assist you, okay? And we've also got integrity. Drop the things that offend your soul embrace your truth it's your life let no one live it for you yeah so if there's anything that isn't feeling quite right to you 
it's important to have boundaries and stand very strong in your truth, okay? Especially with this person, um, because these, these soul connections are no joke, you guys. It's like they, you know, we are sent into each other's lives to trigger each other, to um, test each other. And so it is really, really important to stand your ground and have firm boundaries. Know your worth. We teach people how to treat us. And that goes both ways. All right, Aries. Let's see how your person is feeling about you and this connection. What do we need to know? Wow, we've got Ace of Pentacles. That is like a new beginning. And we do have a door opening up. So yeah, potentially there is a new beginning for this connection. We've got the Emperor. Um, so if you, are, um, if you are a woman watching for a man, and you guys, same sex, opposite sex, it doesn't matter. It's just energy. But the Emperor does represent the Divine Masculine. So I am speaking to the divine feminines right now. Um, you know, if you're a woman watching for a man, then this is really your person becoming that divine masculine. And I know a lot of people are doing heavy duty soul searching. They're really working on themselves right now. And that is why we're going to see resolution of these karmic cycles. So yeah, ladies, this is your divine masculine really, really leveling up and working on himself so that he can have this new beginning with you. And if you are a man watching for a woman, this is your person viewing you as, you know, an enlightened masculine, their divine masculine. So we've also got the strength card and the seven of wands. So what I feel like is your person has been on this journey. They are leveling up. Um, they are regaining control of their life. They're slaying their dragons. And it's it's been excuse me, it hasn't been easy for them. It's taken a lot of courage and a lot of strength to look at these things in their life that they are needing to change. But they're feeling pretty powerful right now. They're feeling pretty good. A little tired, a little exhausted, but they're feeling pretty good. Oh, beautiful. We've got the muse. And this is them seeing you. It's like you've inspired them. You've inspired them to become more, to be better, to level up, to raise their consciousness, to ascend, to change, make these changes. And we've got nostalgia. This is like the six of cups to me. So they are definitely thinking about you. They're longing for you. They're wanting a reunion. They have fond memories. Let's see. Where are they on their journey right now? What is happening for them? We've got the chariot, Woof. the chariot and the emperor. And this is under the ace of pentacles. So this comes after the lovers, which is a choice in love. And so it seems that they've made a choice and they are ready to grab those reins and get moving to this new beginning. That's what it looks like to me. You know, the emperor and the chariot are about, um, in a sense, regaining control very, very powerful energies. And so, yeah, they're ready to move forward. 
Whoa, we've got the Ace of Swords. So this is under the Emperor. I feel like they're making a major breakthrough. They've had some aha moments, some truth, some sort of truth has been revealed to them. This is amazing. And they may have a truth that they want to speak to you. And, you know, I'm also feeling with this um, integrity card, you know, this is about dropping those things that offend you. It's about boundaries, embracing your truth. And the Ace of Swords is all about the truth and clarity and communication. Um, so they are, they are feeling good. We've got the Six of Swords and this is under strength. And this indicates that they're ready to move beyond any conflict, any mental conflict, any battles that they've had in their life, any battles that they've had with you. They want to move into a place of peace and harmony. And it's like, it's going to take a lot of courage for them to come towards you. Um, not knowing what your response is going to be, not knowing how you're feeling about this connection. But we've got the King of Wands under the Seven of Wands. This is amazing. So we've got the Emperor and the King. The King of Wands under the Seven of Wands. Oh yeah, this guy is in control. He is, And it doesn't have to be a guy, you guys. <laughs> okay. Um, he is in control. He is slaying those dragons. He is, you know, taking down those things that don't really don't belong in his life and he's he's got a vision he's inspired you you've helped um you've really helped the king of wands become the king of wands because we do have this muse card and this guy is very inspiring he is an inspirational leader he's charismatic he's very confident and strong and exciting and boy, your person, Aries, is feeling good. We've got cycles. This is the world card, and this is under a muse. So there is something successfully completing for your person right now. There's some sort of cycle that they've been in, and that is ending. And we do have that door to value. So yeah, ending and then a door opens. So that is very encouraging. Under nostalgia, we've got balancing the scales. This is the justice card. And um, whoa, they're determined to bring you justice. They're determined to work it out. They are, yeah, they want to balance things out. They want to just make things right with you, bring you justice. I love it. Very powerful reading, Aries. Now I want to see what's challenging them. Acceptance. Interesting. Okay. So this is under the chariot and the ace of pentacles. And, you know, acceptance is related to the root chakra, which is, um, you know, it's our foundation and it's about safety and security and, you know, accepting ourselves. And what this says is when I accept myself, I find love and the personal inquiry is, am I... Am I assessing myself accurately? Can I simply accept myself? Um, this is like selling yourself short. The keywords are manifesting knowledge and luck. This is a little bit challenged and I'm just getting that it has to, that's why the strength card is here. It's like your person is feeling good. They're regaining control. But of course, you know, with the seven of wands, they still have a few things that they need to, you know, release and figure out for themselves. But overall, this is amazing energy. Now, the other card that we have that's challenging them is impartiality. And this is interesting because it's under the Ace of Swords and the Emperor. And this is related to the seventh chakra, which is about universal consciousness. 
spirituality, wisdom, enlightenment, expansiveness. And um, this says, if I step back from my present situation, what do I see? Can I be neutral? The action here is to observe and listen. Okay, so what I'm feeling is, yeah, the key ideas are allowing things to unfold and uplifted communication. What I'm feeling is they are really wanting to charge forward towards you, Aries, and they're in a sense having to hold themselves back a little bit. Um, this is the keywords are guidance, open-minded, and fairness. And we do have the justice card coming through. Um, they may be feeling really good and just wanting to charge charge in and share their truth, but it's about them. It's not about the connection. And so, you know, there's some balance that's needed. They need to take a look at how you may be feeling about this connection before they charge forward. I feel like they do need to do a little bit of soul searching and just get in that place of, you know, the six of pentacles, reciprocity having conversations because you know the emperor can be um and that is your card aries the emperor the the emperor can be a little self-focused let's just put it that way now what we've got is the two of wands under the six of swords and the strength card and this is about which path do i take and what I'm really feeling from this is, yes, they're wanting to move on. They want a new beginning. They want to move into a place of peace with you. But they're trying to determine um, how to approach you, which path is going to be the best option for them. It's not a matter of when. It's a matter. It's not a matter of if. It's a matter of when and how. And then we've got the Page of Cups under the king of wands and the seven of wands so um they do want to communicate they do want to express something to you they may want to apologize but it's challenging them uh, they might be i feel okay here's what i feel they're really in their ego right now and it's actually not a bad thing because they're feeling reinvigorated they're feeling re-inspired they're feeling really good about themselves and my spiritual mentor said to me a while ago nancy make friends with your ego and so i did and it's not always a bad thing to be in our ego because it makes us feel strong and it allows us to just, you know, find that inner strength and just go for it. So I don't feel it's really a bad thing, but it could be, you know, holding, it could be holding them back from making this apology. And then we've got the pause card under the cycles. And so, you know, that's the world card. So there is something that, that still needs to complete for them. They're, they're really working on it. It's, it's going to take a little bit longer, but I feel they're really close. And then we've got the divine feminine. This is the empress. Okay. This is, so we've got the divine masculine and the divine feminine, and this is, you know, what's challenging them. So their counterpart is challenging them. And I feel it's, it's just because they want to make things right and they're not sure of what the response is going to be, what the reaction is going to be. Let's see what they want to say to you, Aries. You are the only person who truly gets me. Oh, you guys, hang on. My alarm is going off. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Aries. I thought I turned my phone off. Um, we've got, I keep comparing others to you. So nobody compares to you in their eyes. And that's why, you know, we've got this, 
this counterpart situation going on here. You're all I've ever wanted. Wow. They are really seeing your worth. The thought of you still does things to me. So you are heavily, heavily on their mind, Aries. Oh my gosh. They are ready to make a move. I am so excited, you guys. If you watch this and you come into Union sometime soon, I want to hear from you. I want you to email me. I want you to comment on my channel. Please, this is exciting. It does happen. People do come back together. Songs remind me of you. You were the best thing in my life. Oh my gosh. Do you see this theme? I feel you leaving me behind. This is why they are so geared up to come forward. And they've just got a little bit more work to do, you guys. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they are not going to let this go. They are not going to allow you to leave them behind. They are ready. Well, they're almost ready. They're feeling good. Okay, so Aries, these are now messages from Spirit to you about this connection, okay? Soulmate, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Rejection, this rejection is actually divine protection. So yeah, so you guys had to come, you know, had to break apart in order for them to do a heck of a lot of work on themselves and you as well. But when you guys come back together, it's going to be stronger than ever. It's going to be able to, you're going to be able to stand the test of time and retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. So if you've been feeling really down, if you've been feeling like this was never, ever going to happen, go out in nature and recharge, and that's going to make you feel better. Anytime we can ground ourselves to the earth, it will make us feel better and we'll be less focused on, you know, yesterday and tomorrow. And it allows us to just be present. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here and now. Yeah, it allows us to be present in the here and now. I, I can't even believe this. Your true love is already part of your life. So we've got soulmate and true love here. Um, oh my gosh, this is, this is exciting. That might be the title. This is exciting. Okay, what are their intentions towards you? The moon. What I'm feeling is they're listening to their intuition and they want to reveal their feelings to you. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Cups. Yep, they've they found that Ace of Swords. That Ace of Swords is coming through and they have clarity. We've got the Nine of Wands. They're not giving up on this. And then we've got the Knight of Swords. They're determined. They, they're making a decision. They're making a decision. They've been thinking about this. They're ready to come towards you. They, okay, so let me just say this. They may be so excited that um, it could be a little overwhelming to you. And I mean, you're pretty exciting and excitable, Aries, pretty passionate, but they could, um, they could come in so strong that they could potentially overwhelm you, okay? So I do feel that it's important for you to just be really grounded, okay? Um, I wanna see what's in their heart. Oh my gosh, the four of wands. 
building a foundation, commitment, three of cups, reconciliation, the sun, you're the one, you make them so happy, they can't wait to be in your arms again, they want to enjoy life with you, the rest of their life with you, and eight of wands, they want to talk to you, they want to come forward, oh my gosh, wow, Aries, this is incredible. What is the outcome in the near future? Okay, we've got the Four of Pentacles, you guys. Aries. All right, both of you might be a little bit guarded, okay? You might be a little scared. Um, you know, the moon did come through. That can represent some fear. I feel like this is a mutual energy. Um, just be very mindful of that and try and open your heart. You know, use this energy of union. Your spirit guides are going to help you, okay? Your angels. Just pray to your angels. Get in touch with your angels and, you know, maybe reach out to um, someone that can help you balance your your chakras and just heal that heart chakra because I do feel that both of you are going to be um, protecting your hearts a little, you more than your person, okay? They're ready to go. And we've got the high priestess and, you know, that is about listening to your intuition. It is this deep knowing, okay? We got this deep knowing, knowing in your heart, knowing in your soul that this is meant to come back around. And that's going to allow you to breathe in, breathe out, relax, and drop your guard. Oh my God, we've got the two of cups. Wow, Aries, this could potentially be the most beautiful reading I have ever done for a general reading. <laughs> I said that once before. I think it was for Libra, but I mean, there there is really nothing negative here. So congratulations. Um, I hope that this resonated with you. I feel something really exciting coming. So um, please like, share, subscribe, hit the little bell if you wanna be notified the next time I upload. And of course, I would love to hear your comments on this as always. And thank you for joining me today. I am sending you guys so much love. Bye-bye.